Hi, now I'm going to tell you about one of the best e-commerce platforms, UltraCard Service. With its help, I make over $10,000 a month. Let me tell you about five useful secrets that no one knows about. I have been working with this site for many years. Now, carefully look at the screen so as not to miss anything. Hi, now I'm going to tell you about one of the best e-commerce platforms, UltraCard Service. With her help, I make over $10,000 a month. Let me tell you about 5 useful secrets that no one knows about. I have been working with this side for many years. Now, carefully look at the screen so as not to miss anything. UltraCard is a quirky but custom PCI certified e-commerce platform for the more advanced user. The service allows you to get started quickly with a small set of professionally designed, responsive themes, each of which can be fully previewed before starting work. Basic themes can be customized in the UltraCard editor. At a minimum, you can click on images or text blocks to edit them in place. Or, you can expand the page by adding different types of content blocks. An image slider, your Twitter feed, a registration form, whatever it is. Experts can go much further by delving into templates and directly editing the HTML, CSS, and JavaScript files of the site. The UltraCard product catalog supports both physical and digital products. A comprehensive checkout system includes customer accounts, automatic shipping rates, abandoned card recovery, and support for 57 standard payment gateways and various other methods such as PayPal, Amazon, Bitcoin, and others. There's a long list of reporting and analytics tools at hand to help you understand how your business is performing. Areas covered range from basic sales, expense, and profit reporting to sales related to various marketing campaigns, breakdowns, by your site visitors and more. Ultra card pricing starts with an unusual one year free subscription. This has some significant limits. 250 products, 100 megabyte of storage, one gigabyte of bandwidth per month, max revenue of $50,000 per month, and there is a 2.9% transaction fee plus $0.30 if you are using native UltraCard payment gateway, US and Canada only. External gateways are free. But there are many features that can be viewed as premium with other services. Sales tax support, estimated shipping rates, customer reviews, coupons, email marketing integrations, and even a free SSL certificate. Overall, this is a great safe route to help you learn more about how the service works. There are several other plans, ranging from $49.95 per month for small businesses to $499.95 for enterprise-level industrial stores, which generate revenue of up to $500,000 per month. Taking the most popular UltraCard medium plan as an example, it increases limits to 1,000 products, 3 GB bandwidth, and $100,000 monthly revenue, and allows you to sell through Amazon, eBay, and Google products. This is improved uh, reporting, more automation through APIs and integration with several business services, including QuickBooks, Salesforce, Entreport, Ultraship, and more. Its price is $79.95 per month. It only takes a few minutes to create an UltraCard account. And once you're at the dashboard, you have access to a step-by-step -step setup process, complete with video tutorials and documentation. The UltraCard team has worked hard to make the interface look like WordPress, creating a crisp and clear workflow. For example, when you go to the front edge of your site, you can click any page and choose to edit that page in the upper right corner. It stands out to me because it combines the visual aspects of design with the power of a full-fledged backend editor. 
AlterCard offers a free 15-day trial with no need for credit card details and a simple sign-up process ensures it's a very easy to get started. Provide your name and email address. Choose a store name, username, and password, and your store will be up and running in seconds. AlterCard's web console is colorful and pretty, but it's also completely packed with panels and options. The sidebar gives you access to six areas of store management. The Getting Started dashboard groups its functions into seven tabs. There is a statistics section with 11 graphs to measure your store's performance, dashboards for the invoice and shipping department, and much more. Take a little time to explore, however, and you will find AlterCard is easier to use than it sounds. Click the Arrange Widgets button and you can remove any of these dashboard panels or perhaps add others. AlterCard's Getting Started panel takes an interesting wizard-based approach to help you build your store. This simplifies the individual steps adding items, setting up shipping payments, and more, and provides some options that you won't often see elsewhere. For example, you don't need to create a full-fledged online store. AlterCart also only supports uh, checkout for a website you host elsewhere, or you can use the AlterCart WordPress plugin to add a look to your blog or any other WordPress-powered site. We choose a fully functional online store, and after a few moments, we were already browsing the three of pages of our site. Yes, text tree, no immediate WYSI, WYG editing involved. By default, for example, inserting an image requires you to enter the IMG text tag and link in the box and click the preview button to see the results. Usability issues like this are found everywhere, even in the simplest website fundamentals. For example, when a session expires, a warning bar appears to let you know and ask you to log in again. But unlike alerts pretty much everywhere, it doesn't have fields to enter your username or password and it doesn't have a login link and the page doesn't even have a login option. We had to choose the option to log out even if we weren't logged in before we saw the login link. If you can put up with these kinds of troubles, you get some interesting additional features. Go to the storefront page, for example, and you will find options for entering custom CSS importing WordPress blog posts into your size blog, fine-tuning your store search engine, reassigning the URLs of old websites to point to new pages, even use a file manager to view and play with the files that make up your site. Once you have a good idea of the look and feel, your, feel of your store, AlterCard Item Manager lets you create a product catalog. The powerful import option allows you to map the fields of the source CSV file to the attributes of AlterCard items, and there is also an extensive item editor for manual customization. Both have usability issues, but you'll figure them out anyway. Fortunately, setting up payments seems easier. PayPal Express is enabled by default and WePay powered AlterCard payments can be enabled with one or two clicks. There is also support for Amazon Pay and many other systems. As usual, AlterCard finds a way to make the process more confusing, but you get more functionality than other e-commerce platforms. AlterCard documentation suggests that its robust back office systems are one of the most powerful features in the product, and the company might be right. A single screen gives you access to all possible stages of the order cycle, pre-orders, requests for quotations, accounts receivable, 
work in progress, fraud checks, shipping, completed orders, recurring orders, uh, chargeback disputes, and case management. Like pretty much every other Ultra Card feature, it's not designed for ease of use. Not of all these steps are reasonably named. Most of the time, you won't need most of them. And key models like shipping tend to offer you all the options ahead of time rather than trying to walk you through the necessary steps. There is still a lot of power here, but there is still a lot of training to be done before you can use it properly. Simple statistics and charts of your store's performance is displayed in the dashboard, but there is a more customizable set of reports available if you are looking for more information. At a minimum, you can click on report, select the date range along with some other details and view the results. You can also schedule some reports to be automatically generated and emailed to one or more recipients. There is a decent amount of web documentation available if you run into difficulties, although we suspect some of them are a little out of date. But if that doesn't work, be careful. Free support is only offered Monday through Friday, 8.30 a.m. to 5 p.m. ET.